Hi guys, so today I'm taking you through this question from univariate to multivariate. So the question is saying, let x1, x2, x3 be independent random variables with x, i following a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance equal to 1. So find the distribution of x. So our x, we need to find the mean. We need to find the mean of x. So mean of x is just mu. We need to find this mu vector. And we are saying, we are given that each x i follows a normal with mean 0. So my mean is 0 for x1, for x2, 0 for x3 is equal to 0. Again, from the information we are given, we can find the variance. That's our sigma. That's our sigma. Our variance. So we go back to the. We go back to what we are given. We are given that xi follows a normal distribution with mean zero and variance equal to one. So that means each xi has a variance equal to one. So I'm going to say one for x1, for x2, for x3. Now we are looking for the covariances. Our covariances we can take from this statement. Let x and x3 be independent random variables. So this means that they are independent variables and their covariance is equal to zero. So for x1 and x2, it's zero, 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 zero. Right. So if you look closely, this in a three by three identity matrix, this covariance. So the mode variate normal with three dimension and the mean is equal to zero and the variance is an identity a three by three identity now on part b and we are given this condition and we ask it express x as x is equal to a y so this basically means that the coefficients of y from this they are equal to a so this is it if we express y in terms of x, we are going to get the coefficients of x, which are equal to the matrix B. So we, are, we know that x is x1, x2, x3, and y is the vector y1, y2, y3, right? So this is what we know. And we need to find A. So our A, we start with A. A is a matrix. So we are taking the coefficient of Y. So the first line, the first row, we are going to get Y1, which is 1, and Y2, negative 1, Y3, 0. And we get a 1 from this, get a 0, a 1. So um, we get a 0, 1, and a 0 from the last row. So these are linear combinations, and we are taking the coefficients for y to be a. And for b, so for b, we, are, we need the coefficient of x. So what we're going to do is, so what we're going to do is we are going to make y and we are going to express y in terms of x so i'm going to do it over here so i'm going to say my y1 okay let me start with my y2 y2 is equal to x3 and my y1 is equal to my y1 is equal to x1 plus y2 But my y2 is equal to x1 plus my y2 now is equal to x3. Right. Then my y3 is equal to y3 is equal to, from this is equal to x2 minus y1. So I'm saying x2 minus y1. So y3 is equal to x2. My y1 is minus my y1 is x 
1 minus x3 right so this is what we have we have now our y1 our y2 y3 so it's cool now we are going to get our matrix b so the coefficients of y1 we have so y1 we have x1 the coefficient of x1 is 1 and there is no x2 and there is a 1 for x3 the next row we are using y2 y2 only have x3 so it's 0 0 1 the, ne the next row we are using y3 we have a negative 1 and we have a positive 1 and a negative 1 so this is our B and this is our A. So we have both constant matrix. So now we are asked to deduce A inverse. So the inverse of A and take note, the question is saying deduce. So when they say deduce, you don't have to necessarily do all workings. So there's something that you just need to think of or just need to take from. From this statement, we are given that x is equal to a y. We are given that x is equal to a y. Right. So if we multiply by a inverse both sides, a inverse, what we get from this side is y is equal to x a inverse right so this statement we refer again to other to our, so we refer to the other y that we have in the question which is saying y is equal to p x from these two expressions it simply means that a inverse is equal to a or a inverse is equal to b so that means our A inverse, which is called A inverse, equal to this. So this is our B. Now we, we are done with this question. We are on part 3. Oh, we are on B part 3. So now we are on B part 3. And we are asked to find the mean and variance of Y. We know that Y is equal to B times X. And we know that x follows a mode normal distribution with mean 0 and variance our identity 3 by 3 identity matrix. So from there, we need to find the mean of y. So we are saying e of y is equal to e of b x. And this is equal to E, our matrix B, times E of X. And our E of X is a zero matrix. So we are going to say B times a zero, zero, zero. So this is our E, this is our mean. And now we need to find the variance, our variance. So we are saying variance of Y, which is equal to var of b x which is equal to b sigma times b transpose so our b transpose so our sigma is the identity matrix so we remain with b times b transpose so we are taking our b our B which is 1 0 negative 1 0 0 1 so it's coming from this where is my B so this is our B so then 1 1 negative 1 so we multiply with its transpose our transpose is 1 0 1 
zero zero one and negative one one negative one. Oh, it's the same. No, no, they are different. So you are going to get the answer. So if you multiply, you get the variant. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe.